Good morning, everybody, and happy birthday, Magic Kingdom and Epcot. Yay! So Magic and Kingdom playing crazy button and playing crazy button club. Let's do it in order of oldest to youngest. So Magic Kingdom, 46 years old today. Epcot, 35 years old today. Playing crazy button club, one year old. But we are here. We got here an hour before park open, and this is what this is what the, the lines and the crowds look like now. I'm sure there's even more people inside already. They'll probably do a rope at, at Spaceship Earth, but uh, we'll let you know. To all who come to this place of joy, hope, and friendship, welcome. We got special buttons over here. Thank you, Bob. Have a good day. And then we need a special times guide. Look at this run. Woo! Look at this right here. Epcot 35. So we've got at 10.01 at celebrate 35th anniversary of Epcot with Mariachi Cobra and the Voices of Liberty. And we've seen the, the, leg uh, the Legacy Show play celebrating 35 years. 9 p.m. special edition celebrating 35 years. So you can get a bunch of the merchandise throughout Mouse Gears as well. But look at the cover of this. Woo! I love it. Look at these colors. And this is the, the button. Sarah, should we go visit baby Sarah on Epcot's 35th anniversary? Over here in G. G20 West, I think. Yep. Yeah. There's me, Christina, and Jenna. Sarah and it's your sisters. And here we are. This is where we're cut off until 9 o'clock. run for it but it's like a 50 50 like are you gonna run to the, straight to the merchandise and mouse gears or are you gonna run to the stage and get a ceremony spot we're about the experience <laughs> but we're gonna try to see what kind of spot we can get for the ceremony in an hour but a good sized crowd they had the jaminators out in the front of spaceship earth before they let everybody in Wonderful. making some beats for everybody so that was awesome oh there's a dog Where? Doggy dog. So we have one Disney ambassador, Brandon, right there. And we had another Disney ambassador, one of the two for the Disney parks, Ken, over there. Everyone's waiting for the merchandise. Well, we're going to the stage to get a stage spot for the ceremony. Look at that line for the merchandise. Woo! All the way down. Merchandise, nice, but like, where's my 40th anniversary t shirt right now? In the garbage, we it in but we do have the 40th like pins and guide map. That's the thing is, like, we like to keep that stuff because that's like tactile. Or where it's like, I'll wear the shirt, but it's like, I'd rather experience the fun of the day. But that's like not for everybody, right? Everybody's, you know, we're more about, like, we're more about that memory of like this. So, we're gonna camp out a good spot over here for the ceremony because yeah. that's like. This is what's gonna honor, to us, this is what's gonna honor Epcot. But we're gonna try to get a good spot over here for this. Wow. Event in progress. All right, so over here, this is the, the stage at, at 10.01. They're gonna do the, the performance and like little ceremony. All right, so we got 50 minutes to the ceremony. How do you feel? I feel wonderful, but my phone is already at 10%. So. <laughs> <laughs> we got a good spot. So we, we, we talked to a cast member. Yeah. It looks it looks great. Sarah talked to a cast member. This section up here is all D23. So we're pretty close to the front of the section for normal guests. We we bailed on doing merchandise because those lines were crazy. We have a friend who might get a pop vinyl for us, but we're not sure. And look, there's a cool media section over there where Lou Mangello. Big Fat Panda and some other like blogs and news stations are over there getting ready for the for the ceremony. 
pretty cool, pretty cool event that, that they're organizing and doing all this. It's, it almost feels like it's more than what we saw for the 40th anniversary of Magic Kingdom. I feel like that was on a bigger scale. So they weren't able to do like as much? Yeah. It's 9.37, got 20 minutes, how you feel? What? It's raining again. It's been raining all weekend here. Alright, we're six minutes, six minutes until we start. And, and, it's, rain and the rain stops. We're still a little soggy, but we're here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is a very special day here at Epcot. Here to kick off Epcot's 35th anniversary celebration, please welcome Mariachi Cobre. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Fountain View Plaza in Epcot Future World. I am Brandon Peters, your 2017-2018 Walt Disney World Ambassador. Now, on behalf of the entire Walt Disney World cast, we welcome you to a celebration of the 35th anniversary of Epcot. In this morning's brief ceremony, we will hear from the Disney executives Melissa Valaket and George A. Calagridis. And I suspect there might be some added Disney magic along the way. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we proudly present Epcot's 35th anniversary procession. beloved for its focus on imagination, innovation, fun, food, and family. And with a very bright future ahead, the best part is we've only just begun to dream. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce a leader with a very rich Epcot heritage. Please welcome the Vice President of Epcot, from 1995 through the Millennium Celebration, and today, the president of the Walt Disney World Resort, George A. Calagridis. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Melissa, and welcome. As a child, I've been glued to the TV watching Walt Disney with his message of a fascinating future and a belief in the goodness of people worldwide. This is a place for family, a place for fun, and a place for faith in our vision as a people. And now, to end our program, it is my privilege to introduce another musical group. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here to perform a brand new okay. musical tribute. Please welcome the Voices of Liberty.
was so good. Oh my god. Look at them go. We're suffering for a good like historical thing and montage and the voice of Liberty. That was amazing. <laughs> I can't wait for illumination tonight. Can we just fast forward like nine hours? Look at all these fun outfits for October 1st Dalmatian Day 101. I didn't even know that was a thing until today. Did you know? No. Huh. And then there's some DV or uh, we can go. some D23 events going on today. That's why they had the special viewing area, and then they're going to do events. Ready to go home? Really? Like go go? Is that what we decided? I thought that's what we decided. We're going home. Oh, I thought we were just leaving here. Oh no, I thought we were going home. You know what this is, everybody? This in this place. This is coffee 342. <laughs> We're getting there though. Sarah convinced me. What? Just a lap. We're just gonna do a quick lap around the World Showcase before we go home. We're coming back tonight, so don't get worried about seeing illuminations because we are gonna see special illuminations. That's all we can. What is it called? Special illuminations. It's the 35th anniversary edition of illuminations. Uh, but we have things to do and we got up early to come to see the opening of the ceremony. So we gotta go home, do some stuff, and then come home. Or, <laughs> I guess that's right. Come, come home to come home. Come home to the apartment to come back home to Disney World. We knew there would be a lot of people here, but we got to meet Adam the Woo. Yeah. Super excited. Um, we saw Tim, he, they were you know, they were hanging out after the ceremony. We walked over and said hi to Tim, said hi to Adam. We've seen Adam, or Tim a few times at the parks, but haven't seen Adam and we met him. So thank you Adam and Tim for at least letting us say hey. Look at this big stage. It looks like it's always been here. Shows what, oh no, see they're not live. So they're, no, like they're gonna record them here. Oh. Uh, so now in production October 9th through 13th, is when the shoe will be in Disney World on TV, but it's here right now filming all next week. But where do you get like tickets it's to go? It's like the other food and wine events, I think. So is it like very limited? Because I don't see many seating. Yeah. Let's sneak in. But as you can imagine, because it's not only the weekend, but it's also the 35th anniversary, and not only that, I think there's a country band playing tonight. It's looking a little busy. I can see the the bottleneck by Mexico is looking quite full. Why are you doing that? Because a big dark spot on Space Earth that not even the hurricane could take off is gone. Yeah, there was a, there was like a section of four panels on Spaceship over there that looked like they had a big old smudge on them. And I wonder it's if they gone. did it for the anniversary. They probably did do a cleaning. Look, they're all, they're all singing for that cast member. It is. Epcot's been open for, in 10 minutes, it'll be open for four hours. And the pin training station, the line for the exclusive 35th anniversary pin is that long. And this is the store just for the pop, the pop vinyl of Figman, out the building, all the way down towards Space Earth. Which is nice, like, they didn't sell out fast, and people are, like, disappointed, like. Starbucks sold out at, like, around noon. Yeah. A little bit of their special cups this, which I didn't that we didn't even doing, know yeah I would have oh my god I didn't realize that. that it continued yeah it's going all the way towards space first but that Starbucks mug was amazing looking I would have waited in line for that for a little bit <laughs> not four hours this is what a Disney World anniversary looks like <laughs> to be honest we did the 40th anniversary and it, it wasn't like this like there was a big run on Emporium for the shirts but they didn't have like all of this merchandise and the pins. They had merch, but then it like stayed in the parks and it led up to the day and it was like, it was like a whole year's celebration. It wasn't like a, an exclusive day only. Some of it was, saying, but. Like, I was there on this day for the anniversary. But I like it, like it's, I wouldn't want to wait in that line the whole time, but I give mad respect to everybody who did and who is still waiting. Was the last time you saw us when we were leaving? Cause now we're back. What you didn't see was the like four hours of, of work we did at home. 
This one did a lot of work. I did the dishes and played with the dog. But Sarah edited the vlog that's taking a long time to upload right now. And then got like more of our button release stuff. There's like a vlog that goes along with it. I'll link an email blast. Below usually. I know we don't really post about that side of things here, but maybe you like to see it. Okay, so Epcot's been open now for three, six, nine and a half hours, and we still got a line over here at pin trading of some sorts. But we're gonna go check out. We're gonna check out how busy World Showcase Lagoon is to see <laughs> to see if uh, sorry this me and this little girl were like there was ample space and acknowledgement that we knew where each other were, but she was a little girl so she still like stopped and was like oh my god when she was like six feet in front of me. Uh, we're gonna go see how busy World Showcase is to see if we need to camp out a spot two hours early or if we're gonna go enjoy some of the park. That's and then get a spot later. We've got friends in the park right now. Um, Jen Sessions is here. Our friend uh, Kristen is here with her friends. So there's a bunch of people here. But I really want a good spot because I, I really want a good spot. So we'll see. Sarah made my dreams come true today because we're gonna sell. We're justifying it by celebrating playing Crazy's one year anniversary. But this is Farm Fresh's crispy chicken on cornbread. We've been looking at this one for Farm a long time. They released the menu, and then just like two a week or two ago, here's to you put one of their vlogs up from here, and they got it, and it looked even more delicious. I hope you're not disappointed. I know it's one of those things where like I might be because I've hyped it up a lot in my mind, but it's got cornbread, which I love, gravy, which I assume I love, and fried chicken. Cornbread? Just cornbread? cornbread? Not anything to write home about? No. Good? Very good. Okay. All of it together. Yeah? I was worried the cornbread was too dry, but with the chicken, the chicken's juicy and the gravy. So it's 7.15, we got an hour and 45 minutes until showtime. Um, people were, were camping out already, so we decided that it would be, even Sarah was on board, we're about kind of hold, getting the spot and hold the, holding down the fort. So we got our setup here with a GoPro. This is gonna be, I have the dock attached to this that goes here, attached to the bottom of the cannon. Sarah's fervous, fervously? 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 I told nothing. Feverously. For a minute. You said 30 seconds, so it's definitely been more than 30 seconds. She's working hard to get these Instagram posts out because our vlog just went up. But we said bye to Justin and Emily from Jump Sessions. That was sad. I, don't, I didn't want them to see them go. Like, they were awesome. And our, our friend Dennis and his family were, were heading out too. They're, they're both leaving tomorrow. And Sarah will be at home working and I'll be at the office working. So we just say goodbye to all of them. But we're, we're camping out. We got a good spot for the, for the special illuminations.
insane like finale ever. Like I've never been that close and seen that many fireworks at one time. And now they're playing like they don't know how to play the traditional like M night music. They're playing old Epcot songs, like original Epcot opening the attraction songs and that kind of music. It was a great celebration. Like it was an all day thing, which like Magic Kingdom like you said before, like we did the morning yesterday and it was a cool morning, but like, that was it. Like after the morning it was done. This has been an all day affair. People have been here coming and going all day, super busy, a lot of fun, a lot of cool things going on. It was a lot of fun to be here. Very honored. Well, happy birthday, Epcot. There's a cool little projection show going on. It's Spaceship Earth right now. And I looked at it and I went, So thank you all the people. <laughs> we missed the whole lot if it was dead. Hey, what happened to it? But here it comes again. Wait, Jess, I'll, I'll, I'll get a watch. We have to point out and show you that, that it's like it's like a party in the parking lot right now. Like it's like we're leaving a concert back in home or like one any concert that's like a festival on like a cornfield or a big open dome that everyone's like walking back to their campsite to their cars. There's just like so many people. The line to get out looks like a mess. And there's just like all these people walking on. It's hard to see with the lights over there, but like there's easily 300 people in, like from here to the end of the parking lot just walking. Tram full, all full back there. And everyone's just like, everyone's just like in good spirits. Yeah, they're like, we did it. Birthday done, check. Gotta throw it on. Can you believe that Andy and Angela almost had their wedding? Andy and Angela. From the office. Oh yeah, <laughs> they did. We're home. And We're it's, both battling a stupid cough. We are, and it's Sunday, and it's over now. So that means it's back to work. But I need to watch our vlog, because I think Sarah, I saw like a sneak peek of it while Sarah was editing it, and it went up two hours ago, so pretty late. But because of the, the uh, because of the Epcot's anniversary and everything, we, it, we went, it went up later. And I really want to see it. I think I like some of the, the sequences she put in, but we got this three pound bag of candy corn. Not sure why, because I'm the only one who actually <laughs> who actually eats it. So just. But it's October first, which means Halloween. Halloween time. Like we haven't been to a Halloween party almost. A month and a half ago. Okay. But with that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. All stretch. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.